Hey everyone, Techni here with the review of the Ducky and Varmillo 65% Maya Pro Koi Edition keyboard. I probably botched the heck out of that. But anyways, as far as in your box, number one, I mean, just check out this box. Look how cool that box is. Like, good night, that is just awesome. But as far as in your box right here, you're gonna get your manual, you're gonna get a USB A to C cable here, which is red, very thick rubber cable. You get a keycap puller, again in red. You get an extra key right over here, which is pretty cool. As you can see, you have the little design on it. Not sure if you guys can see, I got the lights reflecting there. Then you can get a couple of these postcards, just kind of with that Koi design right there. You're gonna get a dust cover, and then of course, you will get your keyboard. All right, so as far as the 65% Maya Pro right here again the koi edition just pretty much cosmetic but i mean let's just dive into the cosmetics because it looks incredibly awesome and as far as the fonts on the keycap i mean these things are incredibly awesome i mean super thick and durable and the font just looks gorgeous the uh, enter key over here with the wave on the space bar with the koi and it's really cool with the design actually going around the frame right there and it actually sticks out it's not like printed into it you can kind of feel the print on it which is just kind of cool it gives that you know, a little bit of depth on it. And then also goes for the underside of the keyboard. As you can see, you have that wave print on the bottom as well. And it still has that same kind of print where it sticks out there. Just looks really, really cool. Again, top to bottom. But yes, all of that is cosmetic. And you all know Techni's not a really uh, fluffy, let's go buy something just because it's flashy type of thing. You know what I mean? But honestly, it just looks so stinking cool. The keycaps are awesome. The design is awesome. It's, you know, red and white, which I stink and love, you know. So I was willing to pay that extra amount for it. Talking about the extra amount, you can get the Maya Pro 65% for about $20 or $30 cheaper than the Koi Edition, which I did actually review before. It's the Rainbow Edition, which that one's not too much cheaper. I think only $10 cheaper than this guy. By the way, look at it. Here it is now. I took the rainbow caps off. Now I got the black and uh, red ones. That's a Techni keyboard right there. But anyways, kind of referring back to my old review, if you saw it, the one thing I didn't like about the Meyer Pro was the ergonomic incline of it. It just felt like it sat low and it felt flat right there, which whenever I pressed down, my thumb would hit the body. Again, it's probably just the way I use it. And I still get that with this here, but I've gotten so used to it, trying out different boards and everything uh, down the road and everything. I honestly love it now and it fits fantastic and it just feels great and that's the number one thing I love about this board even before the design or the cosmetics or anything is the layout. It's just perfect. It has everything you need. And talk about the build on the Maya Pro right here. This thing is stinking solid top to bottom. No flex or anything. I know a lot of us are very familiar with the Ducky 1-2 Mini. The one thing I don't like about that one, or even the Ducky 1-2 TKL, right? That's that same build where the pieces are right there and it's just kind of sandwiched together and you get a whole lot of flex up there. Let me tell you what, you cannot bend this guy. This guy is incredibly solid. And also going along with it being solid, that goes right into typing on this thing or gaming on it. I have cherry red silence on this guy. Now on my other Maya Pro over here, I have cherry silvers. I don't know, you guys want a sound test of this one too? I do have Tai Hao keycaps on this, I don't know. And it was, I'll give you a sound test on this guy too so you can just kind of hear uh, again how solid it is across both of them. But going along with that build right there, how your key goes down into the frame, you have great stabilizers on this guy. It's not real wobbly or clanky or anything. Again, with the uh, PBT die sub keycaps, it just feels solid as far as, you know, whenever you're pressing the key, whenever it goes down and bottoms out and everything. Let me give you this sound test. So as you just heard right there, both of these boards sound incredibly solid. If you've ever, again, had your hands on the Ducky 1-2 Mini, that's the same kind of sound and feel you get with this guy. You know, the Ducky 1-2 Mini sounds amazing, and so do these. Again, it's just fantastic to game on, 
or type on. The other really cool thing about the layout on the Maya Pro over here, kind of focusing a little bit more on the Rainbow Edition, I believe this one was called over here, is so cool with this layout, just about any keycap set is gonna fit on this guy, right? You have your standard bottom row over here, but then they kind of left you these gaps, put your arrow keys, and they just brought you down to four shortcuts rather than a traditional six right there. And of course you lose your function layer. But it's just fantastic, because again, you can put just about any keycap set on it. Now, if you go with the Koi one, I don't think you're gonna wanna put some other keycaps on it, you know? Me personally, with the Rainbow Edition, I could not stand those rainbow keycaps, but now I have this guy over here with the black and red, and it looks absolutely fantastic on the white frame. So the Ducking Varmillo Maya Pro 65% Koi or heck any of the other options which they make many different designs from like I think a Panda one, a Forest one, again the Rainbow and then a Mac. Anyways, there's a bunch of different variations out there. This is one of my favorite keyboards right here. I know the 60% is really popular and everything, but you honestly can't use the 60% for, I don't want to say can't, because you know you can do anything, but uh, it's just difficult using a 60% for a daily task and everything. When you bring this kind of board over here, again, which is just adding these two rows over here, you're still getting your arrows and a few of your shortcuts, so it's great for everyday versatility, whether it be work or typing or anything like that, you know, not just gaming. So yeah, I do totally recommend the Maya Pro. The one thing I would say, again, talking about my older review, which I don't remember if I recommended it or not over there, but again, I just couldn't stand the layout, not the layout, the uh, design, the incline of it back then, but after using it for an extended amount right now, I'm completely used to it and I really enjoy it. So that's what I would say. If you get the board and it feels a little funny to you at first, give it some time because trust me, you'll get used to it and really come accustomed to it and it feels fantastic. So hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review on the Ducky Maya Pro here. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.